Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making this cute little pumpkin and I have made him in keychain size using a number four yarn, 10 millimeter eyes, and a 4.25 millimeter hook. I have also tested him out in a number six plushy yarn. If you want to follow along the same pattern and you will get this little guy. And for him, I used a number six yarn, a um, 14 millimeter eyes, and then a 5.5 hook. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along. And don't forget, if you enjoy my videos, please hit the subscribe button. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. Okay, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. Now you can start any way you want, um, the magic ring, chaining two, whichever you prefer, as long as you have the same amount of stitches in row one. What I like to do is I fold my yarn over, wrap it around my finger, and make a knot with the loop at the end, like you are going to start a chain. And then I leave my hole about the same size as the amount of stitches I'm gonna be putting in there. And for this one, it's going to be eight single crochets. And it's just a little bit bigger than my hook. And then I'm going to insert my hook, grab my yarn, pull up and through, chain one. And that does not count as a stitch. That is just to attach my yarn to my loop. And then we're ready to start row one. All right, row one is gonna be eight single crochets into your loop and you're gonna be going over top of the tail. Let's see, so one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, and eight. And I made my ring a little bit small, so I don't really need to pull it, but when you're done, if you have a big hole there in the center, just pull your tail, and then that should close it up. All right, grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do eight increases all the way around. So that is two single crochets in every stitch for a total of 16. So increase, whoops, increase one and two, increase again, three and four, increase five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and 10, increase, 11 and 12, increase, 13 and 14, and our last increase, 15 and 16. Row three, we're gonna do one single crochet, one increase, repeat that sequence all the way around for a total of 24. So one single crochet, increase for two and three stitches, 
and then just repeat that all the way around. Go back to your single crochet for four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve. 13, increase, 14 and 15, 16, increase, 17 and 18, 19, increase, 20 and 21, 22, and increase 23 and 24. Row four, we're going to do one, two, three single crochets, and then an increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 30. One, whoops, two, three, and then your increase, four and five. And then just continue on, back to single crochets, six, seven, eight, and your increase, nine and 10, whoops, 11, Twelve, thirteen, and increase, fourteen and fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and increase, nineteen and twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 23 and increase, 24 and 25, and our last set, 26, 27, 28, and our increase, 29 and 30. Rows 5 to 8. It's just 30 single crochets all the way around. And that's four rows of 30. And I'm gonna do um, mine in two sets of 60s. Um, so I'm gonna do row five and six, flipping my marker every time I hit 30. And then I'm gonna do row seven and eight to 60. And that'll give me my four rows. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whoops, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 
30. So that's my first row of four. Now I'm going to keep on counting. 31, 32, 33, 34, let's see, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. So that was our second row of four rows. And now I'm going to drop back down to zero and count to 60 again for my last two rows. Oops, I think I got my stitch mark right there. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that's three of our four rows. So this will be our last one and I'm just going to keep on counting. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, and 60. And that is our four rows of 30, rows 5 to 8, and then we're ready to continue on to row 9. All right, for row nine, we are going to do one, 
to three single crochets and then we're going to do a decrease and we're going to repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and then decrease four, four. And you can decrease however you want if you want to do the invisible one. I just don't find a big difference when I do it. So I stick with this one. Um, okay, so five, six, seven, and a decrease for eight. Nine. 10, 11, and a decrease for 12, 13, 14, 15, and a decrease for 16, 17, 18, 19, and a decrease for 20, 21, 22, 23, and a decrease for 24. Row 10, you are going to do um, one, two single crochets and then a decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. So one, two, and decrease for three. And then just repeat four, five, and a decrease for six. Oopsie, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And a decrease for 15. And our last set, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. And this will just put that down for a minute and we are gonna add the face. Okay, let's add the eyes first. And just kind of see where your back is and just come around to the front. It doesn't really matter where you start. I just like to keep the back there so um, my rows are straighter across here and not as looped where I go up in the round. Okay, so for the little one, I am going to go between rows six and seven. And when I did the larger plush one, I went... Um, between rows five and six. So I put them up one more row. It doesn't really matter. It's just wherever you kind of feel like you want them. So these ones are going to go between rows six and seven. So you're just going to count down from your beginning loop. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm just going to go down under the sixth row. And then... I'm going to go over four holes. So I have um, my eye right here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and then put it in the next hole there. And just kind of check that you're happy with it because you might prefer it a little different way. And if you are happy, you just put your backs on your eyes.
Sorry, I just realized for the larger pumpkin, I put the cheeks in a different place and the mouth in a different place. So just if you're doing the plush one, I went down a row into the um, next hole and over. Same on this side. And then I only went over one stitch. I went two on this side. So you might have to adjust your mouth and cheeks on the bigger one. And you're gonna grab your little scrap of pink and we'll put some cheeks on. And for this one, I'm gonna be going just kind of down and over from the eye. So down and over. So you're going to go inside, just beside your um, eye. You can go across or you can go down however you want. I'm going to go across on this one and leave a little bit of a string there for tying afterwards. And you're just going to go around that stitch. And you're going to go around one more time and in. And you're going to come out backwards or opposite from what you just did here. So you want your cheek um, to be on this stitch. So I'm going to go one. So this is where I want the front of my cheek to be. I'm going to go one more stitch back. And then I'm going to come in that other first stitch. Just like this. And go around there twice again. And then come back out. And remember to leave a little bit of slack um, on the inside because when you stuff it, you will pull these cheeks a little bit. And you don't want them to kind of sink right in. See, I got a little bit of a problem there. If you, that happens to you, just pull your cheek out a bit. It's my inside. No, it's my outside one. There we go. And then just tie that off nice and loose to give yourself that slack. And I just slowly tie and get tighter as I go until it's tight as I want it. And then you'll cut that. And then I'm going to get a little bit of black for the mouth. Oops. And I'm going to use my cheeks as my guide for this one. So I'm going to go over one, two stitches and start my mouth. One, two stitches and I'm going to make a little V right there. So just make sure you have enough space before you get started because you may have to adjust a bit. So you're going to come up in that stitch. You're going to go down a row into the center between those two stitches that you're going to make your mouth. Then you're going to come back on the other side, one, two stitches over. And then go back in the center again in that same place. And there you've made a little V. You can make it bigger or wider or straight across, however you prefer. And then just tie that in the back, same way you tied the um, cheeks. Start with a loose knot and then slowly get tighter so you're not pulling your mouth and changing the shape of that. I'm getting my orange in here. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> wow, I got a mess. There we go. And then just cut that off. Okay, we're going to grab our brown or whatever color you're doing the stem and we'll do that so we can get that on before we close up. So you're going to leave a bit of a tail for tying. Make your knot with the loop on the end because we're going to be chaining. And 
and you're going to chain four. So insert your hook and one, two, three, four. And then we're going to go in our second chain from the hook. So not this first one, but this one down here. And we're just going to do three single crochets. One all the way down and then two and then three in the last. And then we're going to tie that off. I'm leaving a um, tail again for tying. And all we're going to do for the stem, decide which side you want facing. I want where it curves back to be facing the front. Um, so put your um, thread through your needle. And we're just going to find our front. And we're going to put one string on this side where we made our loop and one string on this side. So just down like that. And I pulled mine so that the little knot where I started was in there. Then thread your other side. Hold your pumpkin facing you and just go straight across. Just between your loop and your second row or your loop first row and second row, sorry. And then I'm going to pull that down so that knot is on the inside. And then we're just going to tie those two ends together. I'm going to cut mine so they're not in my way. And then I'm going to stuff him a little bit because we only have two rows left. And then I'm going to put more in once I get closer to the end. Okay, for row 11, we are going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one and a decrease for two three and a decrease for four five and a decrease for a six and watch you don't catch your stuffing as you're going around if you stuffed it seven and a decrease for eight nine and a decrease for ten eleven and a decrease for twelve Check your stuffing if you want to add more right now before we do our last row, and I am. And when I did mine, um, I pushed it out to the sides, especially the plush one. So he's a little more oblong than round, but up to you, however you want to, whatever shape you want to give it. So mine's going to be kind of flat, this guy. And for round 12, we're just going to do six decreases. So one, two, 
two. Oops, I got stuffing there. Three. Four. five and six and I see I missed a stitch there but it's not going to matter too much and then just slip stitch in the next stitch and tie that off Now, if you can, um, you may want to add more stuffing. I'm going to add just a little bit more off camera because he's a little bit squishier than I want him. And then I will join you to close. Okay, I'm happier with that. He's a little firmer. And you're just going to thread your tail. And you're just going to weave in and out. I did overstuff this guy a little bit, or I should have done my decreases a little tighter. But I'm not too concerned for the video. And then pull that tight. And then you're going to tie it in a knot. Actually, maybe I'll show you something else you can do. If your bottoms look... Your bottom decreases aren't as nice like mine are. Not that great on this one. You can take your tail, if you made it long enough, figure out which way your spirals are going. And you can just kind of come under. I'm going to be a little slow at this, so patience and then you just go around each stitch pull it in so these are all my um, six decreases that I made that I'm going under and through not just under I'm just kind of going in the middle of the stitch and I'm just going to keep going around like that until I pull that all these holes in tighter So I think sometimes I have a hard time telling where the next, I'm going to go down a row now. But you're just following that spiral. And as you get further along, you'll start to see that you're pulling the holes tighter there. And just go till you're happy and I think I'm happy about there. I could keep going, but I think that's good enough. See how all those holes are closed in? But be careful not to make more holes like that. And then I'm just going to tie it again to secure this knot or this thread. That was a bad tie. And then just put it inside and out the top. I'm going to go behind my stem. And there we go. Another cute little pumpkin. Um, 
So if you enjoyed this video, um, please uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button um, and you will be notified every time I make a new video. And I hope you guys have a great day. Stay safe and happy crocheting.